All right, well, this is it. I'm all geared up and ready to go. We're here to run my first ultra marathon, guys, 50 miles. Not really feeling like doing this at four in the morning here, but gotta get it done. So here we go. All right, 20 miles done, 30 miles to go. Hard to believe there's still 30 miles to go, but that's just six more five mile runs. No problem, just taking a just quick walk between every five mile and uh, about to hit it again. All right. What's up Bulldogs? All right, so as many of you know, I have been training for an ultra marathon. I've been doing this for the last six months. In this video, I'm gonna talk about exactly what happened and I'm gonna tell you about some of the experiences that I had in doing that and give you my, my time here. So guys, if you're just joining me for the first time, I'm John from BulldogMindset.com. On this channel, I teach you how to be a man. I teach you how to build financial independence, how to get the physique you want, and how to go from the victim mindset to the bulldog mindset. If that sounds like something that you are at all interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the bell so you get the notifications. And you know, if you wanna give me a like for running 50 miles at 225 pounds, go ahead and smash that like button. I would appreciate it. All right, guys. So. I did it and man, it was tough. It was definitely tough. You know, I was aiming for a time of around eight hours and I'll tell you how I did, but let me tell you about the experience first of all. So, uh, the training for this uh, was pretty brutal leading up to this. Now, I'm 225 pounds, okay? I am not really a marathoner, especially not an ultra marathoner. And as you weigh more, it becomes progressively harder to run distance events. The reason why is because of, of several factors. One of them is that that weight that you have to move around, uh, it requires a lot more effort in order to do that, You know, especially at any kind of appreciable speed. So your speed slows down for sure. And then also the calorie expenditure is really, really high, right? So for example, most marathoners and probably ultra runners are around 130 to 150 pounds, pretty close to double that amount. I burned twice as many calories. Unfortunately though, I can't store twice as much glycogen in my system. So I am burning through calories very, very rapidly and it's definitely tough. Now I trained for this, like I said, for six months and I really wanted to do something that was more of a challenge. I wanted to do something that many people thought was not possible was for someone of my size to be able to, to run that and to maintain my muscle. So, you know, there's a few things I was thinking about here. One of them was I was, you know, putting this to the test. Obviously I'd run a lot of marathons. I had been doing OMAD eating one meal a day and I had maintained my physique. I hadn't really lost muscle. But the question was, if I run an ultra marathon, if I train, you know, to the level that's going to be required for me to run 50 miles straight, you know, would I lose muscle? And, you know, as you can see, I'm, I'm still pretty, pretty ripped here. I still have all my muscle. You know, I'm still 225 pounds. In fact, I ate a little bit last night and I weighed in about 228 and this has been a week after that ultra marathon and I haven't even really been doing that much lifting. So I don't have a lot of video from the run because it wasn't a real race and you know frankly when you're running 50 miles <laughs> I'll tell you like what's on your mind is not trying to make a bunch of footage for YouTube. So I know a lot of you have been waiting to figure out what my time is on this so I finished the 50 miles in about eight and a half hours just under that just slightly right around there. You know, my Strava time, which I'll show you up here, is a little bit less than what it actually was because Strava basically takes the pauses out. So it really took me a little bit over eight and a half hours on, on real clock time that was, was clocked on my Garmin, uh, around a 10 minute mile pace for 50 miles, okay? So I was aiming for an eight hour or slightly under eight hour, which would have been more like a 9.30ish pace, which was something that I thought I could do. You know, in training, I had run some 30 mile runs where I had done under a 9.30, and I figured with the taper and everything that I'd be able to run this ultra. But you know, when I got up in the morning, I, I woke up at 2.30 a.m., ate some food, and then started my run about 4 a.m. in the morning. And then I finished around like, was it little afternoon, like 
I think around 1230 or so is what it ended up being. And, you know, I, I got to tell you, I was not feeling good. All right. Uh, I was supposed to be really tapered and I had tapered for two weeks, but I just was not feeling the energy that I was hoping. You know, my legs were sore. I was still tired and I don't know exactly what it is. I'll have to tweak it with my coach for the next time. It might have been actually that I tapered too hard and, you know, I, and I actually do better with running a little bit more and not tapering as hard. But regardless, I got through it and I made it through the, you know, the eight and a half hour ordeal, which I got to tell you guys, you know, it was something that I can't even describe to you what it feels like to go through that process. You know, my strategy for doing this run was to break it down into five mile chunks. And so the whole time in my head, I was thinking I need to do a five mile run uh, and I need to do it 10 times. But uh, it was still tough. You know, I, I got to tell you, after 30 miles, it was just ridiculously hard to just keep on going, you know, and to, I had to fuel up quite a bit for sure during the run. And that's a lot of the strategy of it. But when I got to, you know, 35 or so, that was a real turning point where I was trying to decide if I was going to go on because I was in a lot of pain. And, you know, the thought really did go through my mind of maybe you should just sit down and just be done with this. Uh, do you really want to run 15 more miles? And, you know, you might not think that 15 miles seems like a lot when you've already run 35 miles. But, you know, that's that's still a good few hours of running. And, you know, at that point, I was, I was just super tired. But, you know, I went out there and I said, OK, well, I'm just going to I'm going to run and I'm going to keep going. And my goal in my mind at that point was really to get to 40 miles because I knew that if I got to 40, there was no way I was going to give up. I'm not going to give up on running a 50 mile race if I'm at 40 miles. But wow, it was definitely one of the hardest things, maybe the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But you know, by the next day or so, I was looking up 100 mile races and I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on. I'm going to train for the 100 miler. You know, <laughs> it, it's kind of hard for me to imagine in my mind now thinking that, you know, how do you feel after running a full marathon? And what if you still had a full marathon to go if you're only halfway there? And I thought the same thing when I ran halves, right? When I ran a half marathon, I remember thinking if I were running a full marathon today, I'd be only halfway done. So it just goes to show you how amazing, you know, your mind is and, and the willpower. And, you know, my coach said, one of the things he said was that after 30 miles, right, it, it's all mental, right? Physically, you could run forever with all the training that I had done. And, he was absolutely right, right? It was just a total mental test at that point. So anyway, guys, that's it. I, I did it. I'm, I'm super excited to have, have finished the 50 miler. I wish it would have been an actual race, not a virtual race, but Hey, you know, I did it the same and you know, it probably would have been easier if I had some people out there, if I had the excitement and the adrenaline of being in a race, but you know, hopefully for the 100 mile, I'll be able to do that. It, it still seems so impossible to me. I'm starting to ramp up my training again. And I'm going to start training for that 100 miler. But wow, I mean, <laughs> it was it was definitely definitely an experience. I don't think there's very many people that have done a 50 miler at 225 pounds. I'm sure that there's that there's some out there, but I don't know of any, right? Even David Goggins, you know, I think he's around 180, 190 pounds or so, and, and maybe he did maybe he did some of his races at, at a heavier weight, but, uh, but yeah, it is definitely hard, uh, you know, but if you're interested in doing it, I would definitely recommend it. I mean, the experience, uh, you know, just what you learn about yourself and how you grow as a person, uh, it's incredible, right? I mean, I thought I had a, a degree of mental toughness before I did this, but now, you know, I feel like that's increased so much. And, you know, the real thing I'd say about this guys is that you want to find things that push you. Okay, you know, the reason why I did this 50 miler has nothing to do with getting in really good shape, but it has everything to do with, with the mental aspect of it, right? Because I figured if I can become the kind of person that can do this, that can accomplish this goal, then I'm going to be the kind of person that can accomplish a lot more things, right? I wanted to become tougher and I'm always striving to become more mentally strong, to become more mentally tough. And I'm going to keep on doing that. I'm going to keep on pushing myself to those limits. So if you're interested in doing it, uh, the best thing I can tell you is that uh, one, get a coach and second, you know, get some support. Uh, one of the things that's been awesome about the Bulldog Mindset community 
is that we have so many people that have never run and now they're running half marathons and running full marathons and it's amazing you know just to see that progress and to see these these guys that are part of the bulldog mindset get more mentally tough uh, if you're interested in joining us click in the cards here you can get into the bulldog mindset membership for just seven dollars right now for the first month as a trial you know i'm giving you a big discount on the trial also in the link below and we've got a strava group in there you can join the strava group and you can get the encouragement of other runners and other people who have never tried any of these things and and i gotta say you know for me personally just being part of the group being part of the facebook group and and the membership myself it's been something that pushed me right like I felt like I needed to take things to the next level, right? Because so many of you inspired me uh, by going and doing these things that you thought were impossible by seeing your life transform. And so I wanted to take things to the next level for myself because I realized that I, no matter how far along I come in mental toughness and, and the things that I'm doing, that I can always do more. And you know that's, that's really the big benefit of, of the Bulldog Mindset membership. So I definitely encourage you guys to join us. You know, it's, it's been quite a journey and, uh, and yeah, you know, I'm, just, I'm just grateful to have finished that, that race and I'm, I'm ready for the next thing. As, as surprised as I am to say that, you know, it was an incredible experience and, and something that I think I'll never forget. You know, so anyway, guys, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you and, and let you know how that went. If you have any questions about it, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know. If you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. If you want to see my 100 mile race, which is going to be probably in September, maybe October of this year, you know, as long as I can get into an actual race that's going to actually go on, you know, unfortunately, so many races have been canceled, but that's my plan. And uh, hope you guys decide to join me on the journey. Take care.